Hello YouTube, my name is Anthony, you should know me as Anthony and ARBY5000, which should be in the bottom corner if you're not on full screen. Today, I am doing part 3 in the Great American Tour of The Crew 2. Uh, last episode, uh, we went from San Francisco to Mazda Laguna Seca, and then down to Los Angeles where we visited a couple of uh, locations there such as the Hollywood sign, downtown LA, and where I am here at the street racing headquarters. Uh, now, at the end of last video, which I doubt you uh, saw to the end of it, I stated that I will be uh, swapping from the Camaro to a hypercar, uh, and the options chosen, uh, well, I can't remember what the poll said, but, um, uh, yeah, there were, I listed off five, uh, hypercars at a, in a poll at the end of that video, um, to, for you to guess which vehicle, uh, I have chosen. And the hypercar that I have chosen for the Great American Tour is the Ford GT, 2017 Ford GT. We'll be replacing the Camaro uh, for this uh, road trip. Also, I gave it a paint scheme sort of like uh, Jordan Marin, also known as Captain Sparkles, uh, his 4GT, where it was Miami blue with two black stripes. So yes, the 4GT will be the car used in this video. Uh, you might have seen on Monday that I posted a video of a, like, a recreation of the Grand Tour, which is, uh, hosted by the, uh, people from the British, uh, British Top Gear, Jeremy Clarkson, James May, and Richard Hammond, where I used this 4GT red with two white stripes, and I went from New York to Niagara Falls, like, uh, Season 2, Episode 2 of the Grand Tour, just as like a little gimmicky, gimmicky thing, and now I have changed the uh, colors, uh, and I'll be using it for this road trip. So yeah, currently um, our, in this episode we are going to be going from Los Angeles to Las Vegas, uh, stopping on the way to the Giant Thermometer, and also the... Uh, Golden Hills Racetrack. I have a piece of paper next to me that I'm looking at. So yes, Las Vegas, Los Angeles to Las Vegas. So, let's start. So here we are at Street Racing Headquarters. You are probably very familiar with uh, what it looks like. Spoiler has popped up. And if you hit the brakes, oh, I do have to uh, crash into a new van. If you hit the brakes while the wing is up, it like flattens out. I'm not sure if you saw that, but it flattens out vertical to, uh, to be like an air brake and to give extra downforce to your car. Let's see if I can get a better example of that. So watch the rear wing. It sort of like flattens out as an air brake. Currently starting this uh, episode of the world trip in the evening, so it's going to be turning night soon. A lot of traffic down here in uh, Los Angeles. There, there was a better example of the rear wing uh, going flat. Whenever I test drive a hypercar, I go down this route and then at this particular section I see what their uh, zero, I go to 200 miles per hour and then see what their braking distance is, although that time I crashed into a charger, but then crashed into a traffic car, another traffic car, so yeah. Oh, you van there? Go down for this turn. It says that there's a U turn there. I think it just means that U turns are allowed at that particular thing. We appear to be going through a 
at the park that has a motocross event. Yeah. Are there? Bit of a frame rate drop on no I am noticing. Gotta make a turn here. Also I have decided that for Episode 3, which is what you're watching, and also the next episode, Episode 4, will be the 4 GT, but with Episode 5 and 6, it'll be a different hypercar. Um, just- whoa, that's a car. I was paying attention to the map. There's a ramp right here for some reason. Hmm. So yeah, currently, uh, we are in- Los Angeles, um, and our current waypoint is the giant thermometer in Nevada, just south of Las Vegas, and just south of the giant, the Golden Hills racetrack. The Giants racetrack was in episode one. This guy's being really slow. I'm gonna get around him. Traffic. The turn I need to take. Looks like we're getting onto the highway now. Hello. And oh wait, I need to take that exit. Uh oh. I need to flip. Oh, and I crashed into an explorer. I need to take this exit. There we go. And I need to make this exit. Okay. The Los Angeles highway system is very confusing, especially uh, on the mini map. It's just like a jumbled bit of spaghetti. But it looks like I'm on the right road now. There's a ramp there. And I have just crashed, so let's reset back onto the road. Who puts ramps on active highways? I mean, it, it's like for the motocross thing, and then there's a there's a bunch of traffic here that's just backed up. Why are there ramps on the highway? I mean, I understand there being ramps on the highway when the when a motocross event is activated, because then they can just disappear. But why have them when there isn't an event activated? That doesn't make any sense. But besides that, we are currently on our way out of Los Angeles. Ooh. Okay. Stuck in traffic on the highway. Had to deal with traffic in that, uh... The grand tour episode that I did. And this isn't a gimmick video, this is the this is the Great American Tour. Trying to weave through traffic. And I can hardly see the world because of the shadows. That's a car. The shadows in this game are pretty annoying. Like, I, I feel like shadows make the uh, environment too dark. Like, I know it's shading the sun and all, but it seems a bit too dark. Or shadows. Let's take this exit here. These roads are very windy and confusing. Well, let me just 
just make sure my phone is recording. And it appears to be recording. I uh, just need to close a alarm that I have set for some reason. Make sure the camera is good. And we can continue. 11 miles away from uh, the Golden Hills Race Track. And a little bit farther for the uh, giant thermometer. Actually, I think the thermometer is a bit closer because I have the it at the entrance instead of like the road to the entrance of the Golden Hills Race Track. Small little town right there. Not sure what town that is. Got into the wall there. I have noticed that in uh, in the street racing class events, well besides the drag racing and drifting, but in the street race and hypercar events, I have noticed that two things are my main enemy. Windy mountain turns and traffic cars. Those are the two things that uh, those are the two things that hurt my chances of actually uh, completing the event by like coming in the top three. Currently, we are in a redwood forest, it appears. And then some white rocks here. Oh, a bridge. Whoa. And another bridge. That's a wall. And that's another wall. I have no idea why it's so hard to control the car. Slow down a bit because there's a turn. And another bridge. I wonder what's all- I wonder what's with- I wonder what is with all these, uh, closed bridges. And now we're coming up to the windy mountain roads that I was talking about. Just S turn after S turn. Really slows down the car. When wall riding was a thing, uh, these would be amazing times to go through. But now that wall riding doesn't uh, work anymore. It's sort of like, yeah, it's really annoying to turn. You see the waypoint dot over there through the mountain. The general direction that the waypoint is set in. A straight bit here. It's also nice and open, so if the wall wasn't there, you can sort of see off the cliff. Let's take a look at the view. A couple of flowers. A whole lot of redwood forest, and then you can sort of see the ocean out there, too. And we're back on the road. Also, it's becoming evening time. The sun is starting to go down. Got to really just tap the brakes and throttle at some of these turns. I didn't see that car there at all. Let's change things up a bit and go into the inside cam. And here's what it's like to be inside of a 4 GT going through the redwood forests.
you can really hear the turbo from in here. You can hear the high pitchedness of the turbo. And then there's a guardrail blocking the view. Oh, the guardrail just vanished. Uh, okay. Yeah, we- so there is the, um, you can see just above the wing mirror a tall spire. That is the giant thermometer. And then, uh, just to the left of that, you can see the giant- the Golden Hills racetrack. Keep mixing that part up. We're only three miles away. So, let's continue on- oh, our road trip. There's like a hill climb race from the inside cam, even though we're going downhill. Giant truck. Whoa. Okay. Dodged it. Let's get out into the outside cam. Definitely uh, becoming evening. Uh, the sun is below the horizon. Stuck behind some traffic cars. Put that one there. Less than a mile away. And you can see just off the front there the giant thermometer. So this road right in a little further, that road there leads to the racetrack, which is right there. But I, with the plans that I have, have set, whoa, we are seeing the giant thermometer first. So here is the giant thermometer. It, in real life, it is a actually functioning thermometer uh, that uh, shows the temperature, as thermometers do. And it's somewhere in Nevada, like, I'm pretty sure. In this game, it's south of, um, south of Las Vegas, so here it is. Goes up to 130 degrees in this game. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Doesn't actually say what the temperature is, but the uh, in this game anyways, but yeah, there it is. On to the Golden Hills racetrack. And I've just realized that this has all been uh one take. I haven't cut any bit. I haven't done any gem cuts. Something that I thought I'd mention. I'm going around this guy. Is it this road? Yes. I could not see a thing. I cannot tell if I'm even on the pavement. Oh, that's the off road. My controller is vibrating. There's like an entrance toll gate thing. Satellite tower there. Okay, there's the entrance. And we are here. The purists like Clarence. Oh. Alpha Grand Prix is what pro racing always has been here, so. and always should be. They're mm -hmm. wrong. Let me get it out of, it's been evolving out of since the, the very first thing. There we go. There's an event there, so the pro racing lady 
Um, that's not for me. So yeah, here we are at the Golden Hills Race Track. Uh, just south of Las Vegas. Let's do a quick lap around the outside. And go... Well, there's another player on the track up here. What do we have here? Uh, they appear to be ghosted. Um, they appear to be in the Mer oh, they're back. The Mercedes AMG, uh, what's C ninety five? I think it is. Hello. Okay. Continue the lap around this track. It's nice that the race track is lit. Some of the race tracks in this game. Uh, are not lit up, like the Little League of Speed Drum doesn't appear to have lights. So, down for this turn. Down for this turn. Pretty big track compared to the other two tracks I've visited in this tour. Oh, there's another player here. Uh, hello there. They appear to be in a Mercedes AMG GT3. Take this turn here. And around here. And the sun appears to be coming up. The nights in this game are extremely short, I've noticed. Let's go down to that corner. Go around this big turn here. A nice straightaway here. One final turn, and I think this is, yep, this is where we came in. So let's uh, leave the track. So yeah, that was the Golden Hills Works track, which, uh, if you open up your mouth, it is just south of uh, Las Vegas. And I remember there being a hotel, whoa! Let's jump right there. There's a hotel right here, so I am going to uh, stay at this hotel uh, until morning. So let's just pull up in a parking spot. And there we go. So, oh, foliage in the way. I'll see you when it's morning. Okay, uh, we are back. Back in the 4GT. I have set a waypoint for the hotel that I have booked in uh, Las Vegas. The sun is just rising. There's the speedway there. Let these cars pass. And we'll get onto the road. So, our final location in this episode is Las Vegas, which is where we're currently going. about. Make sure the camera's recording. Yes, it is. I've gone off the road. Beautiful sunrise. Whoa. Knock down that uh, light post. Traffic guard, Ford Explorer. Look at that view of the sun. And then having my full GT with the light glistening off it. Past these cars. Is this a gas station? What do we have here? Oh, it's a diner. Yeah, I 
I'll take some scrambled eggs and toast. Thank you. Order some breakfast. And we're on back on our merry way. The sign says, Old Gold Mine and Mojave. Even though it looks like Mojave. Or Mojave. The English, the English, uh, the English language is kind of confusing. Like, the best example is, uh, river instead of river. Because you would expect it to say river, but it's, uh, it's spelled river, but it's actually river. Speaking of river, there's apparently one that's next to us. Which I can't see because of all the trees and stuff. Whoa, drifting off the road. Coming up to a roundabout, which is apparently frightening for some Americans. Myself not included. I actually know how they work. And off the front there is beautiful Las Vegas. Six miles away. Kind of hard to see that because they're, they're four miles away now. Three miles away. Well, it's still four miles, but it's yeah. There's a bridge here. Where do I go? Okay, I have to take the exit. Sometimes the map is really confusing. Three miles away. There's a burger place right there. The map shows that we'll be going down the famous Las Vegas Strip, which is our location. What are you doing? That's jaywalking. I'm not sure what he was doing, but he, has, he almost got killed by two Silverados. And there's a traffic light here. That was a close one. Go! There we go. But here we are in beautiful Las Vegas. On the little Las Vegas strip. That, uh, that Silverado just swerved to try and hit that guy. I'm not sure if you saw that. Uh, but here we are with the Golden Hotel, whatever its name is. Uh, the Pyramid, whatever its name is. Um, the airport, whatever its name is. Um, the Sphinx, whatever its name is. Nature Washington Mon Monument, I think that's supposed to be. I know nothing about Las Vegas. Um, yeah. Hanger right there. Hotels everywhere. Eiffel Tower in front of us. Or like the little Las Vegas Eiffel Tower. Uh, Statue of Liberty. Medieval, medieval Castle. Um, the city skyline in there. game house right there oh uh, yeah the Las Vegas oh, there's a speed trap right here
ice cold soda. Hmm. More hotels. Las Vegas. And there is a ramp over there. And then we have to go across the grass. No, we wouldn't do this, but might as well. Woo! Whoa! And on the ground. Oh, I just so happened to land in the Lauderdale's car event, which is strange. Uh, fresh, fresh drinks. Uh, where do I go from here? I think I need to spin around. Yeah, there's a waypoint. Couldn't see that the blue marker was behind me on the mini-map, the blue line. That's not the entrance. Hotel isn't as big as uh, most of them, as most of the hotels in Las Vegas, but it's a hotel nonetheless. Ooh. Whoa. There's a gas station up here. I can get some gas before I go to my hotel. And this is like a little roleplay uh, aspect you can do whenever you come across a gas station. So what you do is you pull up to the pump, and then what you can do is you can hold the handbrake, hold the accelerator, and then boost, and then the boost bar is your fuel. So uh, you can boost to however long you want to set how full your gas tank is and then you just wait there until your boost bar fills up down in the bottom left corner near the speedometer that's the boost bar and then you can have that be your fuel and if i go into photo mode and i'll, I'll let it load up I am sponsored by uh, American Petrol, or at least that's the racing suit that I decided to get. So since I'm sponsored by them, I get free fuel. But I guess uh, I guess anybody can get free fuel, free gasoline. But yes, yeah, so here's my driver. Just get a little overview of the the GT. So let's get out of the photo mode. There we go. And then once you fueled up, you can just go. My hotel is in here. That's not the entrance to it. Here's an entrance, I think. I think I'm in the wrong place. Let me just check the map. Okay, I have, uh, I set the waypoint uh, in the wrong parking lot, so I have to go around. Some For some reason, the uh, GPS wants me to go through that uh, building. So I just go through here. I almost sort of, like, slipped under it. There we go. I have chosen my parking spot. Get back into it. Let me straighten out. Get a better shot. And oh, forward, forward, forward. There we go. So I have made it to my hotel, which is this one right here, the Grand Resort Hotel. So here we are. Let me go into photo mode to change it to nighttime.
There we go, so now it is Las Vegas at night. Uh, so thank you all for watching this uh, episode, uh, episode 3 of this great American tour. Um, in the next episode, I will be going to the Bonneville Salt Flats and the Hoover Dam. Not going to any special cities because of how I had to lay this out. Uh, but besides that, thank you all for watching. Uh, please check out my friend's channel, Rhino Racing 4, as well as a channel that he helps me out with, uh, called ANR NASCAR. Um, and then there also should be, at the end of the video, a, the playlist to the, uh, rest of the series. So, uh, thank you all for watching this episode. Uh, like the video if you enjoy, subscribe if you are new to my channel, uh, hit the notification bell if you like my content, um, and yeah, I post a, uh, I post one of these, uh, Great American Tour episodes every Saturday. So thank you all for watching, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, etc, and goodbye.